uh, yeah. So this is something different. Um, and we're gonna do a, a JoJo guessing game. I have with me my friend, who is the first guest on the channel, technically, I guess. So congratulations! <gasps> Yay! Introduce I'm... yourself if you want. Hi, I'm Tegan, and I've never seen an episode of anime in my life. So yeah, so this is gonna be great. Um, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna show you a character, and um, <laughs> I guess just who they are. tell me tell me what you think their name is and what you think they're like. What you okay. think they're all about? Um, and I'm there are multiple parts of JoJo. I'm not gonna tell you when we've gone between parts until we've already done it. Because... So I might be naming multiple characters because I know yeah, there's, I multiple mean, there's characters there's multiple, per part. There's well, yeah, there's there's pl I'm there's a bunch of characters. So yeah, so let's get started. Who is who is this lad? That is that JoJo. Is that a JoJo? That. That is JoJo. Can you specify? Jonathan? That that is Jonathan, actually. Oh, heck yeah. Um yeah, so that's Okay, I got one of the Jo how many JoJo's are there? Uh in this one there's gonna be three, because we're doing three parts. Oh, okay. So I um, own so I know four JoJo names. So this is gonna be great. Yeah, I should preface that like I've talked a lot about JoJo, so and a lot of my friends, all of the other friends that we have, uh, also watch JoJo and talk about it. So I'm not completely stupid. She she knows a little bit, but not a lot, so it's fine. Can you tell me a little bit about what you think he is? He is... What he does. A plain... He's just, like, a plain and boring fighter dude. He just fights, and I guess he's loyal. And if he was in, in Greek mythology... What? He, he's a basic. <laughs> shut up. What? I'm going somewhere with this. Okay. Every hero in Greek mythology had a flaw, and his would be he's too loyal to his friends, because he's just basic. Okay, he's boring. Yeah, he's just he's, an everyman hero. He is so basic. He is the embodiment of lawful good. He is the human fighter in Dungeons and Dragons. Um. So yeah, he does. He's a fight boy. He punches things. He's got magic. Uh, sunlight punches. He well, Why? he channels basically like the energy of the sun through breathing because that's through breathing? that's a whole thing in JoJo Part One and Two. Part Three they not through it entirely. like skin or no. It's because he it it's like it's weird and I'm not gonna get into it. Through but, breathing because it's it's magic sunlight punches. Don't worry about it. Um, and he uses this to punch things. He is pretty loyal to his friends. Uh, his flaw is that. He doesn't really have a flaw. He's just yeah, he's golden boring. boy hero. He's his, boring. His flaw is he's boring. Uh, so yeah. we're just gonna move on because he sucks. Who is this? Jojo's father. What's his name? <laughs> um, John. Just John. John. <laughs> just John. Last John. Last name. J Joe Star, because it's okay. Jo Joe Star. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is his father. This is actually his father. Because I'm a genius. Uh, but this is George Joestar. Oh, gross. Um, he's... He looks like a George, we don't, actually. We don't need to talk about him. He looks like the father he, in he Mary dies. Poppins. Spoilers, he dies. <laughs> he dies in, like, the third episode. Uh, is, you, is this... No! I was gonna say this is Dio, but I'm pretty sure this is Caesar? Um, okay, tell me, tell me about this character. Um, he is... Because I'm going off of what I know about stories and five man band stuff. I've, he I've is... told you a lot about part two. No, you have you? I, I told you the entire plot of part two at one point. So. Oh right, in exchange for me explaining yeah. the entire no, plot it's... of a Barbie movie. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. This is kind of I would say rival, but like the foil. So he's cooler than JoJo. He's way cooler. Um. Is this Dio? <laughs> I don't know. He's cooler, though. <laughs> he's it. still kind of basic, but he's what, just cool. What does he do? <laughs> he, um, he fights, but he's smarter than JoJo, so he also uses, like, trickery, kind of, sometimes, maybe. Okay, this is Dio. This is Dio? This is Dio Brando. Uh, he's a vampire. 
I that's it. No, there, vampires need collars and lace. This is not a vampire. He's a vampire, trust me. He puts on a mask and it stabs him through the brain and he becomes a vampire. Um, Do vampires wear lederhosen? Because this is what he's wearing. <laughs> sure. Why not? It's fine. Look at those straps. Why does he need why does he need straps? He's wearing a short. No, shirt. it's great. It's, it's not JoJo, overalls. It's JoJo fashion. You're gonna have to get used to it. What is his hand doing? He's posing menacingly. Look Ugh. how menacing he is. Um Yeah, I can see the, the eyebrows. Antagonist. I can see the eyebrows. He's the main antagonist of part one and Vampires are weak to the sun, so sunlight punches work well. Oh. Except for when they don't, because sometimes they don't. What? <laughs> Who is this? She looks so boring. She, like, um, probably the love interest, because she's pretty and looks boring. Wow, is everyone in part one boring? <laughs> part one is so boring. Part one is nine episodes long. It's it's good for the fights. The characters suck, except for some of them, which we're. I getting think to. her name is either Rosaline or Margaret, and she just seems like a basic, pretty nice girl who supports JoJo's antics. Um, you kind of got the personality right. Um, yep, she just looks basic and boring. She is, and she is kind of basic and boring. She's the love interest. Yeah. Uh, her name is Erina Pendleton. That's a nice is, name. It's a good name. She's great. Um, she doesn't, does she support Jojo and his antics? She doesn't really know about Jojo's antics until, like, the last episode, but don't worry about that, it's fine. Who's this? He looks eating a sandwich. So cool. He is. Is this Caesar? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna make up a name for him. He is the descendant of Harry Houdini, but like not Harry Houdini, the equivalent of Harry Houdini in this universe. Why? Why can't there be <laughs> Harry Houdini? I mean, freaking Jack the Ripper exists. But... Jack the Ripper exists. Yeah, he's not on this list. I just I. Oh, felt sick. Like it would be I unfair. want to. Okay, you have to show me what Jack the Ripper looks like okay, after I'll, this. That'll be bonus round. Okay. Um, but he looks like he's following in the deep ancestor. What his ancestral ancestral job. A By, being a oh, I'm being a magician. I just I feel like I should point this out. This takes place in like 18th century Britain. Uh, Britain? Yeah, what, what kind 18th of... century England. Um, I know part I, one does uh, at least. I know too much about historical fashions to. I hate Dio's outfit even more. Look, no, it's fine. It's JoJo. Don't worry about it. Oh gosh, his name is Antonio. And he is a magician, and he is every, and he is either the more sympathetic villain henchman to Dio, or he is um, JoJo's spunky best friend who everyone likes more than JoJo because he's actually interesting. Okay, so the thing is, I hate you because <laughs> you got his name kind of right. <laughs> I'm a genius, okay? And I don't know how you did it. This is, uh, this is William Anto Antonio Zeppeli. <gasps> Yo! He, oh, he's related to Caesar then! Because it's the Zeppeli thing. I know that. Yeah. I know all about I, I'm Jojo. just, all of the characters you guessed from now on are just gonna be, is this Caesar? <laughs> is, this, is this Caesar? I know Caesar's blonde. Yeah. That's Fair it. Fair enough. There's not a lot of blonde Jojo characters, so it's fine. Yeah. You're... You're so fine. Is he um, is he the cooler friend of JoJo? He's JoJo's mentor. Oh. Um, yeah, he looks like a mentor. He uses the sunlight punches as well. He teaches JoJo to do the sunlight punches. Okay. Um. So yeah. He looks like he dies four episodes in. He he dies like six episodes in. I was gonna say <laughs> six before four, and I was like, no, what's the more? He d there's nine mm. episodes in part one, so he. I mean, he dies for dramatic effect. Exactly. It's fine. Uh, is this Caesar? <laughs> He's wearing the same hat! Is it? Is it? He's wearing the same hat! So is it Caesar? So he must be related. Just, <laughs> is just... it? He's cool!
cool, though. He's, like, kind of stoic and serious. Is this Caesar? <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Tell me more he's about like him. He's, like, stoic and serious, but also he's still way cooler than JoJo, because everyone is cooler than JoJo. Um, and he... I feel like he's he'd be the one to be he's kind of he'd be like the one kind of like Vegeta to, is does, does, is Vegeta the one that makes puns in Dragon Ball? I don't watch Dragon Ball. Oh, but that sounds wrong. <laughs> no, no, it's I Vegeta. Don't... No, he, okay. ma- he makes puns when fighting. So like, if he rips someone's arm off, we'll be like, huh, he's been disarmed. Okay, like he he's so serious and stuff, but also he's got a funny side and. I, I'm gonna say he's Caesar. Um, this is not Caesar. Damn I'm sorry. it! This is this he is the Pelly though, cause he has the no, hat. No, this what? is Best Boy Robert E.O. Speedwagon. No. AKA Ario Speedwagon. He's great. Remember he's how JoJo me. has music? He's uh he starts off as a bad guy, but then JoJo beats him up, and he's like, "You're cool. You didn't kill me. Thanks." Wait, I'm this is the God dude. Why does no, he have such a stupid what? hat? No, this no, is, who no. are the god people? Cars. Yes, we're getting to them. Um, we'll we'll get to that later. Uh, he okay, he's great. He's, he's, now that I know he's the name. he's the fun best friend. Okay. Um, and he has the hat because he takes uh, Zeppeli's hat after he dies in oh. in uh, in uh, is memoriam. Is this the funeral? No. <laughs> Do they ever have a funeral for Zeppeli? <laughs> I'm thinking about that now. I don't know if they do. I'm, I'm going to have to well, put that Well, now in that post. I know his name, he's immediately ten times more stupid. He's great. Um, He's best boy. Everyone I loves him. I hate his name. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, are we in part two now? Maybe. Because this guy looks like a JoJo. Is he? Or he's a de- Or is he, like, a detective? Is he? Don't, tell me. How dare you? Tell me about him. Wait, and this his is name. JoJo. This is. Okay, I'm gonna need you to be more specific with JoJo. I know. I'm trying to JoJo find. JoJo will get you like a, a <laughs> passing grade if you just guess. JoJo no, I'm for no. All I'm time. trying to think of a name. I'm there's. Is this Joseph JoJo, the cool one? <laughs> Joseph JoJo. <laughs> Joseph JoJo. You know what I mean. Is this Joseph Joestar, the cool one? He decided to not be like his dad and actually be cool. Um, because he looks cool. Yeah, he's he's cool. Um, okay. and this is Joseph Joestar. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about him? Okay, so he's kind of like Perseus in Greek mythology. Okay, you're gonna have to stop <laughs> with the Greek mythology because this is. No, I'm smart. JoJo goes into a lot of things, but it doesn't go into Greek specifically <laughs> Which mythology. Is... A damn shame. It goes into other mythology, but it doesn't go into Greek mythology. Why? Greek mythology is the most well know, known. They cool. wrote everything. They wrote writ every writ. They wrote everything down. Um, but he's like Perseus because Perseus doesn't just hit stuff and expect to stay stay down. Uh, Perseus actually like thought his way around things and tried to like think his way out of situations and be clever instead of just punching something until it stayed down. Yeah, he's he's a yeah. clever boy. So I think he's clever, but also he's strong. And he is a lot more interesting than Jonathan. He's the he's chaotic good. Cool. Probably. He's way... Probably. <laughs> I like his jacket. He's I want got that a good jacket. jacket. His outfit changes like four times. Oh no. It's fine. I, I picked this one because, I don't know, it was a good... And I feel like he keeps coming picture. back because he's just so cool. Um, sure. Who is this? Is this... The boring girl I was talking about but now old and bitter? <laughs> is it? I don't know. Oh, you're so cryptic. Uh, this is... Can, can you give her a name? I think it's the same... What did I call... What did I call a boring girl? Margaret? This is Margaret. Um, but she's old now, and she has seen too much of the world, so now she's bitter and interesting, instead of just boring and bland. Damn it, I thought I could mix you up by putting an older version. But no, yeah, this this is Erina. Yes. This is Erina, but again. Uh, she's... She's, uh, Joseph's grandmother? Grandmother? Yeah. Uh, she yeah. does look better and cool now. 
Um, she's not, I mean... Can she tell the future? No. She has the hat on? <laughs> no, that would be cool. That's what Joseph does. What? Uh, not, not in... He's... Well, Joseph does that. He's, it's not a, like he doesn't tell the future, but he, he just predicts what people are going to do based on logic. Okay. Being, okay, he's and smart. Logic and plot armor. She's still pretty Here's boring, the thing. but in this, the, in this one, she lets Joseph beat up a racist, so it's fine. That's fine, uh, but I know. And but then she, she lo- doesn't show up for like the rest of the part. <laughs> she looks like end. a Margaret, though. She does a little bit. Oh my god! This is that. This is the servant guy from Adam's family. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen Adam? I I have, but but the name the big hulking guy. Yeah, but can you name? name. Um. Geronimo. <laughs> Geronimo. Geronimo. No last name given. Well, he doesn't need a last name. He's a butler. Geronimo I'm gonna say this, this Yes. He is, um, he is a butler, and he's kind of like Alfred, and where, like, he helps Joseph be a, like, a superhero, kind of, but he, Joseph's not a superhero, he's just a hero. He's kind of a superhero. Okay. He's got the magic sunlight breathing again. Oh, I hate that. They, they make, use that. It doesn't make any sense. There's, it makes more sense if I were to explain it, but that would take time, and I don't feel like it. Okay. But yeah, um, he is a butler, but he's strong and doesn't say a lot of words. And so basically, if Joseph's like, hey, can you do me a favor? I don't like that guy on our front porch. He'll be like, yep, I got it. And he'll just chuck him. He'll just yeet him away. Okay, so uh, this is Robert E.O. Speedwagon, a.k.a. Robert E.O. Speedwagon, but again. Um, it's him, but again, but old. I don't like him. <laughs> you, you'll notice he has the scar. Oh, yeah. A uh, dumb frickin' scar. Um, I don't like Speedwagon. In the time between part one and two, he's become an oil tycoon and founded a worldwide foundation that helps progress science. But he... Because but he, reasons. But, but oil? Yeah, he, he found oil and then he sold it because oil's expensive. Yeah, I know. And then he... But, like, if he advances science so much, then he'll go out of business because... No, but he's just rich now. He's okay. just super rich and he helps advance science and medicine and also looks for the stone... The researches the stone masks that turn Dio into a vampire so that they don't hurt people. Oh, uh, so he they seems don't cool. I, I, you know, I... Yeah. You know, he's a uh, science dude, so I like almost that. Dies. He, he, uh, he almost dies. <laughs> Good. Well, he does die of old age, but that's later. Oh. Um, ooh. Is this a deal, but again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of, but no. It's not the same character. Now, this is a proper... He's a vampire. Uh, he what's, is, this what's is a, his name? Richard Belmont. I'm joking. <laughs> Richard Belmont. <laughs> um... The Belmonts aren't fucking vampires. <laughs> I know that. I know. This is Richard Belmont. No, this is, uh, okay. Oh my god, what is his name? Ar- Arkuld? What? The, the, the Dra- Arkuld. Dracula backwards. That's his name. Alucard? Alucard. That, okay. That's this guy. Like, and and what's, what's he about? He's a vampire, and he's really edgy. <laughs> that's kind of it. Okay. Um, this, his name is Streitzo. Streitzo? He is a vampire. Yes. He appears in part one to fight Dio, as he, he does the, he does oh, the magic Oh, he's a good sunlight. vampire. No. Oh. He, in part one, he kind of helps with, like, he does the magic sunlight punches, too. He what? was, like, wait, um, wait, wait, he what? works on them. Wait, what? He, so he practiced the magic sunlight punches for a while, because, uh. But he's a vampire. It's called Hamon, um, before he became a vampire. It's called Hamon. Oh. And it basically... It, but wouldn't that be directly detrimental to his health? Look, I'm just let me <laughs> let me go through it, because... No, I need to know the exact... Sima- no, I don't. Um, he, he practiced uh, Hamon as a way of trying to stay younger for a long time, because oh, that's what Hamon does. What? And then he realized, oh, I could just become a vampire and then I'll be immortal. Hamon makes you age slower. Oh, okay. That's a side effect. It's, it's yeah. good. He epic. looks cool and edgy. Um, and then he was he found a stone mask and almost killed Speedwagon. And then Joseph uh, shot him with a Tommy gun and then he exploded. <laughs> this is how you get rid of vampires, guy. Just shoot him with 
Guys, just shoot him with co- Tommy he, guns. He kills himself with Hamon because he's like, you did good, Joseph. Um, what? Find the pillar, man. There it exists. Who's this? Is this to you? <laughs> <laughs> he has a skull on his ma- on his hat, so he's evil. Dio's not here. What? Dio is not in part two. He's not in part Dio's two? Dio's gone. But he's the coolest Dio character. Dio got killed on a boat at the end of part one. Oh, this is Dio's cousin. Okay. Gio. Gio. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gio. And he's a German soldier. Um, yeah, actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna censor that because YouTube algorithm. Yeah, he's, he's a German soldier. Um, don't censor it. I'm, You're I'm not gonna, gonna have to. Because well, it's gonna get, it's gonna so, get stricken. Are you, like... What? I'm are not you, making. You're not making a I'm lot of making, money off of this. I'm not video. making any money, but just in case, <laughs> I don't. I I want pe- the YouTube algorithm to show it to people because freaking you know how, whatever it's dumb. What does he's he's a German soldier? But he's he gets kind killed, of, right? Doesn't he? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, he does, but he's not actually really a bad guy. I mean, he kind of is. He's a German soldier. Well, yeah, but like he's. <sighs> Joseph goes to fight the German soldier. I mean, he doesn't. He goes to fight the Pillar Man, but German soldier. These are there too because they've found one. This sounds and like this Indiana Jones. There. And yeah, it's <laughs> kind of. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll I'll explain more of his character in a, a second because. Oh okay. What <laughs> is this Caesar? <laughs> Yeah, this is Caesar. This is no, no. This is one of those magical dudes. Cars. Is this cars? <laughs> sure. Oh, he's got. He's probably got a stupid name. And um. So I'm... many JoJo characters have <laughs> stupid names. You're gonna have to get used to that. His name is. Oh, uh, what's a really stupid name? <laughs> I've already sworn a bit, but how how like what what would do? How how good are you on the swearing? I'm fine with it. I don't do it, but just whatever, it's fine. Okay, so it's blueberry bubble. Fuck. (laughs) Sorry, can you repeat that? Blueberry, because it's hair. Okay, the the hair is actually. (laughs) I don't care. It's just the lighting. Blueberry bumble. Fuck. Okay, sure. Um, what is he? What does he do? Well, obviously. Um, his powers comes from being more naked, so the more naked he is, the stronger he is. <laughs> and he just sure. wrestles people. <laughs> sure. Why else would he need a loincloth, dude? Uh, because he's a freaking old Aztec person. He uh, is a god! He kind of... This is one of the pillar men. This is Santana, who I don't think I mentioned. This is Santana. No, you His didn't. His name is Santana, which is dumb, and I don't like it. He just sounds like a country star. Santana sounds like a country he's got star. Like, he's got, like, special... He's a pillar man, and pillar men are, like, extra vampires. What? So, you know, vampires hunt, kind of hunt humans. Yeah. These things hunt vampires. Oh, okay. And they're they're also weak to the sun and the sunlight punches. Then why is he... Why is he... Why? Whatever. He was in a pillar, and he broke out of his pillar, and now he's here. And he's got special powers, like... Okay, well, you know what? My name, Blueberry Bumblefuck is a better name than Santana. Yeah. In, in short, uh... Oh, did I ever say? Did I ever say this guy's name? No, he's, oh, no, he's this Geo. Is, he's this, Geo. This is Stroheim. Stroheim. His name is Stroheim. Okay, if you would, yeah. He's uh, an... His last name, but I don't remember his first name, so it's fine. It's Geo. Um, he he sacrifices himself to to kill this thing because it's gonna be a problem. Okay, he sacrificed himself. So whoop de doo. So still... German soldier. Like it's JoJo. Is this Caesar? Is it? You've been wrong every other time. <laughs> Do you want to go for Caesar again? It's either Caesar or another one of those... Or is this Jojo? Is this another Jojo? <laughs> Are we in part three yet? I don't know. You know what? Whatever. Oh, I don't know what part Caesar comes in. This is... I want to say this is Caesar. And... What does he do? He is... 
everyone's favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> what else does he do? Why Maybe... is he everyone's favorite character? Because he's actually nice. Not just, like, hero nice, but he, like, does good th- He, like, gives flowers to little kids, and he's loyal, and, um... Wait, is this Dio? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this I'm is just, Dio. I'm just looking at the hair. Wouldn't that be wild? No! <laughs> wait! Is this Dio combined with Jojo? <laughs> Maybe who could say? Tell me. Um. So, what do you think he's? What do you think his power is? What do you think his? Yeah, lots, Bingo. lots of characters in JoJo have special powers. Well, uh, well I, based on mm, the picture, what do you think his power is? Bubbles. Yes. Um. This is Caesar. <laughs> Yay! This is Caesar. Uh. He's he's Italian. Caesar Zeppoli. We finally found found the good one. There he is. Um. He's. He look- He's alright. He he dies for dramatic effect. Oh. Um, oh. Well, he doesn't die for dramatic effect. He dies because he was stupid that one time and didn't listen to Jojo, who has plot armor. Always go with the plot armor character. Um, That's true. He's got a scarf and a headband, and he uses uh, sunlight, magic sunlight bubbles. That's his special technique. These powers sound so stupid. He infuses the bubbles with Hamon and then throws them at people and they hurt because Here's Hamon. the thing. Do the bubbles like projectile fly or do they like lightly float over? They, they projectile fly. Okay. It would be so much it's more great. funny if they like floated over. It's great. He dies. He gets crushed by a rock. Oh no. Who's this? Um... I feel like her character is just base. It's just sexy. I feel like that's her character. What? Because I know the only thing I know. There's a few, very few things I know about JoJo, and one of them is that uh, the girls aren't very good characters. Sometimes so, they are. In later, in the later things. Sometimes they're good. <laughs> okay, I just feel like she's just generically sexy, um, and her name is Magica, and she has magic. Like Madoka Magica. No, like. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> this is even way stupider than what you're going to say. Do you want me to, like, tell Please you where tell I'm going to get from? Well, there's a character in the show DuckTales. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Uh, named Magica Dispel. Oh, that's right. Okay. And her color, and her colors, like, what's it called? The color palette kind of reminds me of that character. So her name's Magica She's a witch, and she's generically sexy. Um, so, this is Lisa Lisa. That's her name. That's <laughs> not her name. That's her that's Oh, her she's the love identity. entrance. No, she's not the she's love not? entrance. She's the mentor. She she oh. trains Jojo and Caesar in the magic sunlight punches. Is she still generically sexy? Kind of. Okay. Um, she's also Joseph's mom. Her real name is Elizabeth Joestar. Why is she? I guess Lisa. You get from Elizabeth. Why yeah. Lisa? Lisa. Because secrets. Shut up. Just you can just do Lisa. Uh, she almost dies for dramatic effect, but she doesn't get killed. Actually, she lives. Okay. I like her heels. These are the oh, this, there this they is, are. This is cars and whatever the who are Here's, ACDC. The, uh, tell me which is which. Okay. 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 What are the names again? Cars, ACDC, mm, and something else. I'm not. I'm not telling you. You have to guess what what they are. Okay. Um. Okay. Crap. Go go from left to right so it's easier when I'm editing this to know which one you're pointing at. I well I mean no like I was gonna like describe it like Mr. Okay. Emo. I feel like Mr. E- oh no 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 I don't know who Mr. Emo is. <laughs> Just n- name them from left to right. What you okay, think they so are. left. Left is ACDC, middle is Cars, and Emo Boy is probably based off of some Kiss song. Eh. What do you want to call it? Um, I don't know. He is... Oh, that fights the dust! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, ACDC, Cars, and Fights the Dust. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> oh, wait, no, is Bites and Dust a stand? No, look, we'll be fine. Um, And what what are they? What do they do? They're just... They're the Aztec god people that are... I hate. They're, they're also pillar men. Um, yeah. So, yeah, from left to right, you you did get ACDC right. 
Um, is Cars emo boy? This is Wamu, and this is Cars. Oh. Yeah. So um, they Wamu. they each have their own like kind of special like signature ability. So what do you think each of them does especially well? Oh. They've they've got special supernatural powers that are all weird and dumb. Okay. This one kills Caesar. <laughs> oh. This one almost kills Lisa Lisa. Oh, so they have like an emo battle? Because, like, Lisa Lisa was kind of emo. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll Why get to they... that. <sighs> so, what do you think his ability is specifically? ACDC. Um. um that's a good question. <laughs> Just literally go with anything you can think of, because I well, here's the thing. It's this dumb, I'm dumb, and you won't get it. You know what? Unless you're I'm a I'm god. a genius. Okay, what is it? So basically, he dances and summons spectral tigers to do his bidding. That's really good and should totally be a stand. But no, what he does is he he makes his blood really hot and then shoots it at people. <laughs> what? It's dumb, right? <laughs> That sounds like some... Oh, that's so stupid. Does he yeah. have to, like, cut into himself? Uh, no, he just shoots it. At his pores? I don't know. Maybe. He he shoots it, and it hurts, because it's, like, molten hot. Okay, so, uh, what is his name? Wamu, you said? Wamu, yes. Wamu has do? some kind... I feel like he controls molten gold, because he's covered in oh, gold. Dude, we, we just got past the, the fire, fire boy. He had... He had... Oh, yeah, hot, but, like... Hot stuff. So, wait, does he not have hot stuff? Um, I mean, maybe he has hot stuff, too. I don't know. We'll I see. just feel like there's something related to gold there. So, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Controlling molten gold. Because I'm feeling like in the place where they fight, they're in a cavern that these guys came out of, and there's just fountains and, like, waterfalls of hot molten gold. That would also be a really cool stand. I should he... write for JoJo. <laughs> Um, what he does is he, uh, he, he makes, like, really power, he spins his arms really fast and makes, <laughs> and makes tornadoes that rip people apart. <laughs> if they hit divine, they're called the divine sandstorms and they're, it's re they're that's what, it's that's what kills Caesar. That's pretty cool. Actually, no, the rock kills Caesar. But that just reminds me of, like, an arm exercise people do. Where they, like, put their arms out and they just spin them in circles. Because the thing about these people is they can, like, dislocate their joints at will and, like, just oh. remold their bodies. So he, like, actually just does that. Okay. That's okay, that's dumb. And Cars. Uh, he's Cars the strongest is one. Cars what is... does he do? He's the strongest one? He's the strongest one. Well, he harnesses one. the power of anti and dark matter from the universe and uses it to delete people from existence. Holy frick, that's way more busted than it should be. <laughs> no, he just has, uh, his his bones can, like, jut out of his arms, and they've he's got- He's Wolverine?! No, he's got, like, like out of the side of his arms. He's Wolverine. And he, like, slashes people with them, and they're also kind of like chainsaws, because they've, they've got serrated oh. edges that are going through them. So they cut through- he cuts through things with his arms really good. And also, he becomes basically god later, and gets- So wait, 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 Gets wait, killed wait, wait, by wait, plot wait. armor, because wait, wait, wait. Araki made him too powerful. Caesar died from tornadoes. He died but... from being crushed by a rock. Oh. But but yes, kind of from tornadoes. Oh no, well. no, not Caesar. Dio, sorry. Dio. D Dio. What? You said Dio dies from. Oh, Caesar dies. Oh Caesar. wait, what am I talking about? Dio isn't in this one. Right. He already died on the boat. Yeah, he dies on the boat. But the magician lady didn't die from being stabbed. No, she she gets stabbed and then she's fine somehow. Okay. I don't remember how she, Does she, she just lives. Uh, whatever. It, it doesn't hit her, like, fatally. It just, she gets incapacitated for the rest of the fight. Yeah, but, like, bleeding out is still not good. Yeah, it's fine. Um. Okay, well, all I know is from these people. All I know, all I've learned from these people is that I should totally be writing for JoJo. Yeah, okay. Here we are. Is look this at, look JoJo? At him. Look at him go. Is are we on to part three now? Are we? I'm I'm not telling you until we are. 
What? I'm, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you until you've guessed the character. Okay, this is JoJo is, then. That is. This okay, is, is Josuke. This, tell me. Tell me his full name. His first and last name, please. Josuke Joestar. Okay. Right. Uh, and what is what does he do? He is the new and improved edgy Joestar. So he's like a little bit like Joseph, where he's not quite golden boy, but he's still smart. And he likes to trick people into doing stuff. And uh, he is edgy. He is pretty edgy. We are on to part three. This is Jotaro Kujo. Jotaro! This is Jotaro. Oh. There he is. And since we're on to part three, um, stands are a thing now. Oh, now I get to guess stands. Look. What the ever-loving frick is that? Tell me. What is it? It is What's its name and what does it do? Porygon. Polygon. Okay. Polygon. Polygon is its this name. This is Brian David Gilbert. Yes. <laughs> that was Pat Gill. Okay. <laughs> this is Brian David Gilbert and his stand, Pat Gill. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We're going to take a brief intermission while she recovers. <laughs> And he Okay. He, okay. We're back. Are we? Are we back? I don't know. You okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. What um What does he do? He punches really good. Okay. But also I wanna say he has sonic screams, but this guy does not seem cool enough to have sonic screams. So he Oh, I wish I paid attention to you guys and your fucking stand <laughs> jokes. Our funny um, stando jokes. Yeah, but uh, he punches real hard, and he gives super powered fists to Jojo. Um, Jojo's just kind of strong on his own, but also Star Platinum does. That's Star that's, Platinum. That's Star Platinum, by the way. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. This is Star Platinum. He does just punch stuff real hard. He gets another ability later, but we're not gonna do that. We'll, we'll get yeah, into that just, later. I thought that could see just giant fists. Um, he, he punch, he punch real hard. He punch? He's also really precise. Like, he's, he's fast, he punches hard, and he's really precise to the point where, in, like, the first scene where we see him, um, Jotaro, to kind of display his ability, takes a gun at point blank to what? his head, shoots it, and Star Platinum catches the bullet. Yo! Which is pretty cool, right? That's a big dick energy. <laughs> he's he's a very good punch boy. This is the only okay. We're I I can't I couldn't find very good pictures for these guys. So and I know stand you can't. Stand name stand mask. I know you can't read Japanese, so it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um. Wait 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 so, wait 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 that so, like circle thing? That circle thing? That's that's like is that like power? That's, yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna that's say. That's like its skills. So it's yeah. like uh, power, speed, range. Um, Why are there three Ds? Accuracy. That's not a very good stand. <laughs> oh. Okay. So tell me, who is this, and what is the stand? This is clearly uh, McCree from Overwatch. Okay. No, Joe Rose McCree. They're voiced by Ma both by Matt Mercer. Oh, Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> And also, we're, we'll get to McCree. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Um, uh, but, no, yeah. but this is... His name is McCree. <laughs> no, okay. he's a cowboy, though. Okay. He just gives cowboy vibes. And is this an older Joe star? You're not being very helpful. <laughs> I know, that's the point. Dear viewers, he's just shrugging at me whenever yeah. I ask a question. <laughs> True. Well, I, you, you're trying to ask me for information, and I want you to come up with, with what's what That's what doing. I do. I ask questions. I'm really annoying. Well, I'm not going to give you the answers. Is the um, so, is the stand... I feel like the stand's a thorn thing. So, it's, the stand name is... Um, goodness. It is the Hanged Man, because thorns and rope and stuff. I don't know. That's a pretty solid and guess. And he... Oh. The gun stand is in, is in a later season, right? Yeah, there's so, there's a gun stand in a later season. Okay. So, uh, what he does is these mystical vines go and reach out, and it's like 
it's like, what's it called? Uh, vine grasp, that spell? Where basically the vines come up and constrain people and uh, strangle them. Okay. Uh, so this is Joseph Joestar. Yes! He is an old Joe. He Joe. is an old Joe. Oh, Joe. he's the cool one! This is Joseph, but again, and his stand, Hermit Purple. What? Oh, p- Hermit? Hermit Purple. Uh, In what world is that a hermit? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, At least have him be a crab. He's get the pun. He technically still has him on, but he doesn't really use it. Um, and he, his stand, it's it it does kind of have thorn whip, but it's not very good at that. It can conduct him on, but also its main ability is spirit photography. Um. You wait. He gets to see. Oh, is this where the aura aura comes from? No, that's from. Oh, Joker. that's punching. That's that's the punch boy. Uh, he punches, but th- this guy. Um, so he, how spirit photography works is he he uses hermit purple to kind of wrap his hand in those vines. Yeah. He smashes a camera, and then a picture comes out of what he wants to see. It's like divination. That seems like, horribly wasteful. How much yeah, money no, add does he have? Uh, well, the the more expensive the camera, the the better it works. And also, he can have Hermit Purple plug into like a TV, and it can kind of show stuff as well. So yeah, it's weird. Don't what? worry about it. Uh, this guy. Oh, this guy looks cool. I I couldn't find a picture of him and his stand clearly, so it's two pictures. It's him oh. and then the stand next to him. He looks so cool. This is a cool guy. Um, okay, so. They're all based on tarot cards in this season, right? Yes, they're all tarot cards. And this is Major Arcana? This is only- it's only Major Arcana. Okay. Okay, let me just hack into my hyper senses to know what card is this. Oh, that's a really muscular bird. Why and also, sometimes so they have colors in them. Sometimes they have colors in the name, but sometimes is they don't. Is this... Golden Chariot? Golden Chariot. That's a good name. What's the character's name? Oh. Why is he wearing chaps? Is he wearing chaps? Maybe. <laughs> what? None of the outfits make any sense to me. Yeah, what time period is this? This is like uh, 1989. That makes sense for 1980s. It's it's the 1980s. Okay, this is, makes sense for 1980s. Yeah, part um, two is in like... It's like... It's 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 in some time period of World War Two, okay. um, yeah, and then the this is, 40s. Yeah, the forties. Yeah, the forties. So and then this is well, that's a real big skip. The eighties. Yeah. Well, the first one skips from like. Oh, that's an even bigger skip. It's it's a long time. Skip the eighteen from that one. mid eighteen hundreds. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, it's not the mid eighteen. Oh, I yeah, I don't. Yeah, his name is Jerome. His name is Jerome. Yeah. Jer- Jerome, no last name. I don't know. He's he's a Zappelli, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Jerome Zappelli, okay. Yeah. Um I have infinite wisdom. What does his stand do? It's probably pretty obvious. Fire? It does he set himself on fire and turn into the human torch? Uh he does do fire. So this is uh Muhammad Avdol and his oh. his stand magician's red. This is the magician? Yeah, this is the magician. It's a bird. Why is it a bird? It's a bird. Because birds aren't part of a magician's act? Sometimes magicians pull birds out of their hats. Whatever, it's fine. Not it should have been a rabbit. A bo- n- that, that looks like a pterodactyl. A it does. A it, muscular pterodactyl. Um, and it's it does do fire. It, it shoots fire. It's good at fire. It does stop fire. with fire. He looks like a sad boy. Um, in this picture, he does look like a sad boy, and sometimes he is a sad boy. Who is this? Is that, uh, that's a puppet in his hand. Oh, Emerald... God, none of the The, the character's name first, please. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you one none hint for this... his name. He is Japanese. Oh, goodness. Now I feel bad for what I, I don't want to feel bad for whatever name I make up. That's fine. Um, why do none of the stands look like what they're supposed to represent? It's fine. This one's dumb. I'm gonna it's, call- it's that, I'm gonna say that want. is- he's that, That's Emerald Chariot. Why not? Because- Why not? Um, and- I feel like I'm right. And this is- Who is he? I don't know many Japanese names. 
I only know names from I know I know like a really common one is Shoyu, Choyu. I don't know. Just just give him a name. This is Jimothy. Jim, <laughs> Jimothy. Any last name? Jimothy Green. I don't know. Jimothy There's Green, Green in the picture. Jimothy so it's Green. A line That's great. Uh, this is Noriaki Kakyoin. Noriaki. That's not... you. You may have heard us. Uh, Kakyoin. This is Kakyoin. Yeah. Um. He. Yeah. Uh, and his stand, Hierophant Green. Hierophant. Um, what does his stand do, actually? I didn't ever get you to specify. Oh, that looks really high check and super powered, so... Well, it... I hate it. I don't like the design of the stand. Nah. Ugh. He looks like a Pokemon. In my head, I don't know. A little bit. I a guess. little bit. What are the what are the, the, the that looks like the what grasshopper one? That's what I'm thinking of. The one with like the razor. Rickitoon? No. Oh god, what is it? It's like Sizor? Sizor. Okay. It reminds anyway, me of Sizor. Uh what's what's his ability? He can fly. I'm really running out of creative ideas right now. A lot right of stands now. can fly. You're going to have to be a little uh, bit more specific. He just looks so basic and boring. Look at look at he the just, background and the designs on him. Green and then uh, water? Does he shoot poison? Um. So he, he's got a couple weird things he can do, and a lot of them get ditched. So when he first huh? appears as a villain, he starts off as a villain uh, possessed uh, by the main antagonist. Um... So he, when he, when he starts off, uh, one of his abilities is he can, like, puppet people around. <gasps> oh, because the puppet thing! They ditch that real quick. Oh. And he stops being able to do that. Damn it, that'd be so cool. Uh, and he gets the ability to, he gets an ability uh, called the Emerald Splash, which he creates a bunch of emeralds and just shoots them at people. It's a really long-range thing. Um, so you can get rich can, off like, his power. Himself. Well, yeah, I guess. But also... Non-stand users can't see them. So oh, it's... so stand users can get rich. All Only the stand power. users can see stand users. Fun fact. So um, is it visible? No, I'm joking. Only stand. Only stand users can see stands. Okay. Sorry, I'm dumb. Um, and he does that, and then he's also got the twenty meter emerald splash, where he just does emeralds in a twenty meter radius. Sick. And he's he's pretty. He's got a bunch of abilities. Oh my gosh, this guy looks like such a douche. <laughs> the tiger in the background doesn't matter, don't worry about that. Are you sure about that? I'm entirely sure about that. It's part of the, the setting that they're in when they when they fight this character. This guy is such a douche, okay? His name is Chad. Chad. <laughs> I don't care. Chad, I don't yeah. Think, you would tell me his real name. He's forever branded a Chad. <laughs> he probably is a Chad. What's his stand name? <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> I know that all my things have been chariot. So many, but have he been actually chariot. looks. Like... You've done so many with chariot. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be say chariot again, or if I want to actually be like interesting. Um, but I feel like I if know. I don't, I feel like this guy is chariot. Is is it just chariot? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Okay, um, Chad. <laughs> fuck you, Chad. This is uh, Jean Pierre Polnareff. Jean Pierre! No, he's Chad. He's French. Uh, and his stand, Silver Chariot. Yay! Yay! What does he do? He fences. Yep. Really? That's it. He's got a sword. <laughs> really? His ability is he has a sword. And he can. he's good at sword. He fences. And that's it. This isn't. This is just the Yo. stand. This is just the stand because I felt like I needed to include this. What is this stand? What is its name? Oh my gosh, that's really. This is the first cool design I've actually liked. <laughs> yeah, it's about the size of an actual bug. Oh, that'd be actually. Really it's mu probably about fist size. It's it's that's it's horrifying. It's big and terrifying and it sucks. Um. Oh, I don't know much about the major arcana. In. This guy is Death. Death. That's that's good. Uh, death isn't on this list. Oh, what? Um, then I want to say the Tower. This is actually Tower of Grey, which is dumb. 
and we'll get it's to... It's not great, th- we'll, we'll, I'll explain why it's dumb when we inevitably do a part four and five list. I know the tower's bad, so... I'm, I'm just doing part one, two, and three, okay. so... Um, uh, it's, it's a bug, it's got a, it hurts well, like there's bad. bones in its mouth. Yeah, it's got that thing. I don't really remember what it does. It sucks. I don't like it. Oh my god. Is this Dio? <laughs> is this Dio? Um, is it? He looks like such a douche. This is not Chad. This is, uh, Brad. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Brad, no last name. <laughs> Bradley. Bradley. Okay. His name is Lee. Uh, I'm not clear. And what's it? What? First of all, what is his stand? Being rained on. (laughs) Stand is just a rain cloud that follows him. (laughs) Oh no. He's wearing like yellow, which makes you think of those like yellow raincoats. I'll let you know. His stand is the gun. Is this the gun man? Is this the gun stand? I told you that there was a gun stand in a later part, but there is also a gun stand in this part. And this is it. His stand is the gun. What's its name? What does it do? Oh. Why was I chosen to do this? (laughs) Because you don't know anything about anime. (laughs) And so many people I know do. Yeah, that's your fault. That's That's my own fault. Yeah. Watch JoJo, guys. Mm. Watch JoJo, you absolute cowards. Um, the gun. I'm gonna go off the rails with this. This is the lovers. This is lovers. Lovers yep. is one of them, but this is not it. Yeah, uh, this, I realize. This character's name is great. His name is Whole Horse. Whole spelled <laughs> H-O-L. He is a cowboy. <gasps> This is the character I was getting at when I said McCree. This is McCree! This is, he's, he's kind of... Oh, I don't like his he's, hair. He's, he's a villain. Um, and his stand name is Emperor, and it's the gun. Oh! Did you actually explain what it no. does? No! What does it, it do? It shoots stuff. Okay. Does it, it shoot? I want to say... It does. It shoots sunlight. Because of yellow? It's just... It's, yeah, he's got the sunlight punches, but no. No, he doesn't. Uh, his He's got a gun, it's got infinite bullets, and uh, he can kind of control where the bullets go. Oh! So, can... so it's like Yondu! Yeah, kind of. Sure. So um, Yondu's way cooler. He he kind of kills Avdol, but he doesn't actually. The the bullet just Remind skims his Avdol forehead. Is again? Avdol was the one with fire chicken. Oh, Fire Chicken. Okay. That's a great name. Um, he almost kills him. Spicy and Chicken. And everyone thinks he's dead for, like, half the part, and then he comes right, back and he's like, talking about alive. this. I'm alive, idiots. The bullet only grazed my forehead. Wait, wait, was it going that way? It, it was going this way, and then he got tackled, and it just... Oh, okay. Actually, no, he tackled someone else, and it just... I want to take a wild guess and say this is the sun. This is the sun. <laughs> Gee, I don't know how I guessed that. <laughs> this is a stand. And I'm going to say its power is sunlight? Its power is it can control how hot an area is and just make it get gradually way hotter. You know, that's actually a D&D spell, and oh, I've yeah. seen people use it where they increase the temperature inside someone's body. See, but the thing about this is it just... it. It's just a sun, and it just makes the area Hot. way hotter. And it works really well, because they're, they're in the desert when they encounter this guy, and everyone gets hot, and they all are Have like, Frick, how, do we, how do we combat this? Because we can't find the user. This is Dr. Frankenstein. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. But um, what's... And, and his stand, probably... You're gonna say Frankenstein? I'm not gonna say mm, no. That's not a that's not a tarot card. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I'm not stupid. Yeah, I guess. No, this is uh, Doctor Victor Frankenstein. Okay. And his stand. Goodness. Goodness, that's the name. (laughs) Oh wow! I don't know any of the major arcana. Uh, that's fine, they won't help you. Yep, because this probably does not look like anything. Um, this is... 
is this the hanged man? Uh, uh, what is, what's it? No, it's not. Um, so this is, uh, this is Da Arby. That's his da name. Da Arby? It's D apostrophe Arby, like the restaurant Arby's, but that's not what it is. You know he Arby... has a first name, but I forgot what it was. You know what Arby's actually, like, you know what it stands for? What does it stand for? Well, it's supposed to be, it's Arby's is supposed to stand for Arby, roast beef. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's cool. Fun fact. Uh, and his stand is Osiris because tarot cards are for losers, and we're doing Egyptian gods now. Um, you know, Osiris is actually green, so props yeah, so to that. So this is Osiris. What's its ability? Sucking the life out of people. If kind we're going to be of. tangentially related to kind that. of yes, but like specifically, he looks like a frog would man. Be, I don't know. That would be really overpowered if it could just do that, but. Specifically, how does it do that? With the fingers. Okay, fair enough. So its <laughs> ability like houses, man. is that Darby, uh, he he is a gambler and he is a a cheater. You'll see the two. He sucks gambling money. Chips. So what he does is he gambles with people for their soul. Um, and people oh, this... are like, "Oh, that's a joke, haha, <laughs> funny." Yeah, sure, I'll do it, whatever. And then he cheats, and when they lose. Uh, when they admit defeat, his stand can take their soul because that's when it's at its weakest. Oh! Which is actually pretty cool, and honestly, the yeah, fight against I him... Yeah, hate, I hate how this guy looks, how the stand looks. Yeah, well, you don't see the stand for most of it. Um, and it actually is one of the most intense fights, in my opinion, in the series, because it's not a fight, it's just them playing poker. <laughs> And and That's Jotaro real... Jotaro playing poker with the wager of Kakyoin and Joseph's soul. What is this freaking Yu-Gi-Oh? And and he's like, oh frick, because he's already gotten Polnareff's soul. At yeah. This point. So he's like, oh frick. And then Jotaro just bluffing the hell out of it, even even though he doesn't have good cards because he couldn't because this guy's cheating. So. He he just bluffs the hell out of him, and he just has a stroke and dies from the pressure. <laughs> and you know that's what? how Pardon they beat him. Me. It works because it's great. Most most of the best like tension filled scenes in media are in really innocuous things. Yeah, so it's it's great because it's not just a normal battle. Like, it's a battle in Inglorious bast Bastards. There's like a really tense brunch with Strudel. But it's really tense because there is an escaped Jew Jewish woman and a German soldier. Oh, no. And they're talking. And you don't know if the German soldier knows that she, because she's like changed her identity. And you don't know if the German soldier knows that she is that escaped Jewish per woman. Heck. It's so tense. Nice. So, yeah. So that's, that's him. That's what he does. He does gambling. And yeah. Yeah. She looks Person, fun. Person, stand. Tell me what what is her name and what is her stand name? Okay, the stand. I really oh, I feel like I can think of a card, but I can't like remember it. What did I just say? Tarot cards are for losers. We're Egyptian gods. We're now. Egyptian gods now. Oh, why is there a plug on a rock? What reasons? <laughs> okay, so the lady. The stand is complicated. <laughs> the lady. Is morally gray. She, yeah, and she, you can't really tell whose side she is on because she is constantly just being shady and kind of edgy. She's like the Shadow of the Hedgehog. Of yeah. The JoJo universe is what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that, but maybe. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's what you're saying. But like, she's like the Black Widow. Okay, yeah, that's a yeah. Better she's like kind of she's like a double agent. That's a kind of less person. stupid comparison. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Look, it's fine. <laughs> you live in your own world, okay? I I do. It's we're we're okay. Um, and her what name is Marceline. Marceline. It's... Marceline O'Neill. And what's her stand's name? Set. Set. That would be pretty all right. Um. So this is, her name is Mariah. Mariah, okay. Um, 
and her stand name as Bastet. The cat one! Uh, isn't that Anubis? Isn't it no, Anubis, Anubis is the jackal head. Anubis death is the God. jackal, right? Bastet yeah, so this is, is Bastet. The cat. What's its ability? Plugging your iPhone into a rock. Okay, that's all the stand does. So yep. she is a villain. She is just straight up a villain. Okay, she she's, looks... She's one of the minor she, villains. She looks villainy. Um, her stand, Bastet, what it does is it's an electrical plug that she can put on something, and if someone touches it, they get shocked, but the shock makes them magnetic. So metal objects are drawn to them. Like knives? Like knives, sure. This leads to, and if two people touch it, they both become magnetic and will stick together, which sucks. And as as it goes, as the effect lasts, the magnetic force gets stronger, and bigger objects like cars are drawn to you, oh. and you get crushed eventually. So it's pretty sucks. But if you just don't freaking touch it, like you're fine. <laughs> This is a terrible quality image, and I didn't realize that until now. Is this the lovers? That would be great, but what did I... I, I know, I, I know, I know, still... I know. I get it. This is Isis. His na the character name, or the... The sand. The stand, okay. And what's what's the character? His, his initials are on freaking everything. Katie... He's got, like, the, the earrings, and it's on his stand. Like why His is... name is Tomatio. Tomatio, that's great. <laughs> You're off to an amazing start. <laughs> Tomatio Dipping Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great name. That is an amazing name. This is, um... This is... No, Troy Dalton. Troy Dalton, okay. Um, this is, uh, he wants Terrence to, Darby. He wants to bop, 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 bop to the top. This is, this is also, this is also Darby. This is Terrence Darby, uh, Darby's younger brother. Darby had a first name, but I forgot it, so whatever. His name is Victor Darby. That's, that's... It's... <laughs> I'm still holding on to that Victor Frankenstein okay, thing. Okay, sure. Um, and his stand is Atum. Atum? A-T-U-M. I know that, I know that god. I don't know what yeah. that god does. Um... His stand ability is basically the same, actually. It's it's got basically the Sucking same ability the soul? where it takes a soul. Uh the first one did it he took a soul and he made it into like a poker chip. This one he makes them into like dolls for some reason. That's really creepy. It's spooky. Uh he does this with Kakyoin. It's it's another one, except this one Not is a Kakyoin. This one is a gamer. Um, oh no. That's and the so worst he plays species. people he plays people in video games for their souls. And he's <sighs> he's one of the main antagonists higher ups. Uh, like this is one of the last fights that. Damn, Tomatio. Uh, and they they beat him by Joseph, uh, cheating. Oh yeah, he's got another ability, um, where he he can read people's souls. So he can like ask someone a question, like a yes or no question, and it will their their soul will answer it, and he can just see it. So oh. he can use that to, so like, be like, to be like, do what you are, like are you, So they're playing like a, they're playing like a, um, baseball game and he's like, are you going to throw a curveball? And they'll be like, no, 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 no. Oh. But the way that they, they cheat around this is Jotaro plays the game. He holds the controller, but Joseph has Hermit Purple attached to the controller and is the one actually playing. So oh. while he's trying to read Jotaro's soul, Joseph is the one making the decisions. Oh, which is a great way. That's workaround. really smart. And then they beat him up after they win. That's real smart. Is this Dio? Dio died. This is Dio. I, I know Dio, Dio comes back. Dio died though. Dio died this on the boat. Dio and this is the world. Uh, yeah, this is Dio and the world. He comes back. He he somehow he lives. Back. He lives in a coffin at the bottom of the ocean for a hundred years, <laughs> and invents stands. Um, he invents stands. Kind of. He he fi he figures it out. Also, he's he's stolen Jonathan's body. So from the neck down, oh. it's, from the neck down, it's Jonathan's body. Um, oh, what okay. does his stand do? You should know this. I from should. The amount of funny jokes we've made about it. Is this Aura Aura? <laughs> no, uh, Aura Aura is Star right. Platinum. Oh, okay. 
Does he di does he disguise Pete things? I don't know. I'm sorry. You no. made a lot of stupid this JoJo is, jokes. This is this is uh, it's Dio. He's he's a vampire, but his stand the world. It's like Star Platinum. It does the punchy punches, but sunlight um, punches. But also, uh, it can stop time for right. Seconds. He stops time. He stops time. Um and <laughs> during. Yeah, so to so this he's he's the main antagonist of part 3. Um to to counteract his amazing ability of stopping time, uh Jotaro develops a new ab ability with Star Platinum. What is what what does Jotaro figure out how to do? Speed up time? No, Jotaro just also learns how to stop time. He just figures it out. Okay! He's like, oh, so the world and Star Platinum are basically the same type of stand, and Dio's like, uh, yeah, I guess, in the fact that they're close-range punch and are really precise. But mine can stop time, and then Jotaro's like... Oh, okay, really? Hey, man, mind if I copy your homework? <laughs> uh, and so he I was does. like, hey, copy my homework, but change that's, it a bit. That's it. That's it? We did it. Um, Yay! There were there were a couple that I I missed that I I wanted to uh, that I wanted to add. So um, do I want just, do you want me to close just, my just eyes? Just close your eyes for okay. a second, and I'm my gonna... eyes are closed. Okay, so can I open my eyes now? Uh, yeah. Who who is who is this? This is another. I'm just gonna say she's from part two. That you would be right. Okay, and her name. Is Mary, Mary, and she's really nice and sweet, kind of like what is it, Margaret or whatever from Margaret, the first sure. part. Yeah, but she actually has more of a personality, and I can see her bitch slapping someone. Yeah, kind of. Um, her name is Susie Q. Susie Q. Her last name is just Q. Q. It's the letter Q. She's Susie Q. Susie Q. And you pretty much described her personality. Sweet, but we'll um, bitch slap you. We we were we had a a bonus round and I forgot what it was. It was O. Because you it was the gun guy. No 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 because no, you wanted to.